from the techies here and today in paint.net I'm gonna be uh, showing you how to combine pictures to make some awesome images um, I quickly threw this image here together uh, it's four layers and three pictures so I'm um, gonna try to show you how to replicate this so uh, yeah let's get started first thing I'm gonna do is make a new document and the first thing that I did was I made the um, starry background uh, very easy to do I just um, make a solid black background and go to effects and noise should be around here somewhere noise add noise uh, turn the intensity down a little bit the color saturation to zero and the coverage to about 10 and we have a basic starry background there and the next thing I did was I added some layers and I just opened up the pictures that I used. I used a picture of a moon, uh, a lens flare, and a space shuttle. So I went ahead and opened those up. And if we go back to our uh, thing here, what we can do is we first can um, import our moon, because we want to use a moon. So we just take it, control C it, and control V into a new layer. So um, it's there now. And um, to make these uh, images flow very nicely together, um, we have to change the blending options or the layer properties. And um, it's different for a lot of the types of images that you use. Some of them might be lightened, like this one's lightened. Um, some of them might be screen, overlay. It depends what kind of color background it is. But um, it's you don't really need to know that. You just choose one and just go down the list until you find one that looks looks nice that you like like uh, maybe difference looks okay but you can kind of see the little um, black dots on the moon so we can go with light because that looks a lot better okay so uh, there's that one if we deselect um, it looks like our moon is uh, kind of there so uh, it's pretty cool Let me turn this down okay so uh, the next thing we can add is our space shuttle. So again, all we have to do is control C. Also what you can do is you can go up here, uh, copy it, and then um, go over here to here and hit paste. And then you can like paste it into a uh, new layer. But um, Okay. So paste it. There we go. So the space shuttle, again, very easy. Since it has the same color background, um, lighten should work, and it does. So um, it pretty much, I don't know really how it works, but it's really easy to just um, go through the blending modes until something you find something that you like that uh, works well. Like if it's a white background, I'm pretty sure you have to use multiply or screen or one of those depending on what the background color is. So there's uh, quite a few things you have to take into account when you're uh, doing this sort of thing. And for our last layer, um, we have our lens flare here, which is a beautiful lens flare by uh, Optical Flares. If you want it, um, just go on to Google and look up Optical Flares um, lens flare, video copilot lens flare. So if we control C it, copy it and uh, we paste it and here since the image is so big basically uh, just keep the canvas size you'll be fine um, and uh, you notice it's kind of huge and we don't want it that big so what we can do is we can hold shift and just scale it down by holding shift what it does is it just makes the um, keeps the same aspect ratio and uh, I'm going to move the moon down just a little bit. And uh, control D is to deselect it so that little box isn't around it. Just a quick tip there. Pro tip, if you will. Um, so we have our lens flare here. And I want it maybe about right there. So again, if we go into our uh, layer properties and our blending modes, and we just see which one looks good. For this one, I believe there's a few that look nice. Um, that looks cool, but I don't, that's not what it, <laughs> that doesn't look very realistic. Um, lighten works again because of the black background. Screen works as well. 
and um, let's go with green and light and actually look exactly the same, so it doesn't matter, we'll go with light. So um, now that we have our uh, lens flare up there, let me move it down so it's on the moon. Basically, uh, since this is a lens flare, it kind of just ends here on the sides and you can see it's definitely not realistic enough. So uh, to fix that really quick, what we can do is we can go to our eraser tool and uh, maybe increase the brush, shot, brush size to like 70. Uh, maybe more like 100 okay there we go and we can just uh, make little curves around the image like like so it doesn't have to be perfect um, because the next thing let me get rid of some parts around here okay there we go so uh, the next thing we can do is we can do one of two things uh, you can either add a Blur, or blurs, and alpha blur, and um, maybe like uh, oh, let's we gotta erase a little more of that. There we go. So now, if we go to blurs and add an alpha blur, we can maybe go around like twenty, and that does look pretty cool. It looks um awesome. It looks more realistic. Or you can uh, you choose to feather it out. Um, well, I, I, it isn't feather. feather no, that, that's not the feather. It's under. Um, geez, I don't remember. But whatever, just use uh, the alpha blur, and um, it looks pretty awesome. So uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial on layering and blending modes. So thank you for watching. This has been Eat Sleep from the Techies. Be sure to check out the Techies website for great game and software reviews, as well as a database of all Techies videos. Also, please sign up to our forum where you can request a tutorial or just talk about something that interests you.